that I'm going to be working in. So this is VS Code. Um, I'm sure some of you are using VS Code at this point. And I'm going to do all of this within VS Code. When you do the technical interview, you're going to be working in a Jupyter Notebook. Um, I'm not going to do that here uh, just because it's a bit cumbersome. And I want this document to be disposable. Um, something I do every once in a while, if I, if I want to create a file that I'm going to throw away, I put it in a folder called Delmi, and then I just throw it away when I, whenever I see it later. So that's the purpose of, of this file. It's to have it exist in uh, a transient way, right? And to sort of fuel this lecture. So I'm going to be committing code, or I'm going to be writing code in this space, and then I'm going to be throwing it away. Okay. So what I have here is just a simple hello world, right? All of us have seen that. Um, and I'm going to run this by saying Python, um, and the name of this file is synth analysis. So synthesis analysis. And of course, we get hello world out of it. Um, something I'm going to just sort of jump into really quick here as well. Um, this may be new to some of you. There's a, there's Python and there's IPython. IPython is an, an environment. So um, I can, I'm running IPython in my terminal and I can run this synth uh, analysis file and I get something out of it, okay? So I'm probably gonna stay in IPython. I just kind of prefer it. It means I can, you know, run, I can type less words to run the file. It's really lazy of me, but, you know, it takes a long time to type the word Python. Uh, or I could just hit the up arrow, which I could do in the terminal. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to think about, I'm going to make this a little bit larger. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about parallel lists. And um, actually, uh, is this an okay size um, for everyone? Hmm. Okay, it's good. All right, yeah, sorry, I just need to pull up. Uh, I'm gonna pull up the Zoom chat. Um, you know, feel free to put questions into Slack, uh, but also feel free to put them you know, just for today, feel free to put them into the Zoom chat as well. Um, I'm not going to allocate quite as much time for questions. Uh, I just want to say that now. Uh, I'll, you know, stop here and there, and we can jump on a concept. But this lecture is really about, this lecture is a little bit more about you guys watching, trying to follow along, um, trying to take notes. But this lecture will exist, and you can watch it five, six times. Um, and it will heavily inform your ability to complete the technical interview. Okay, so let's talk about uh, parallel lists. So, um, you know, we've we've covered this a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to make a couple parallel lists. I'm going to make X and Y, and um, this will be that one, two, three, four, five, six, and Y will be A, B, C, D. E and F. So so I can relate these to each other, right? I can say um, I can print uh, X sub zero and uh, Y sub zero. And we can imagine that, you know, we're just relating uh, these two things and that should give us one A, right? So I'm gonna just build on this a little bit. Um, instead of uh, making these lists parallel like this, I'm gonna go ahead and say, all right, I'm gonna make, um, uh, I'm going to make a function that's going to return two lists. It's going to return parallel lists for the alphabet and for, um, uh, numbers, the, n the number value of the alphabet, right? So A is one, B is two, et cetera. Uh, the way I'm going to do this 
is maybe a little bit boneheaded and um, hopefully I didn't miss any letters. And I'm going to say for letter, actually, I'm going to say for um, num and letter in uh, enumerates alpha. And I want to start at one. Uh, this second character, uh, the second argument to enumerate will set the initial index. So I'm making a one. And I'm going to say, um, well, I need to, I need two lists. So I need, um, I'm going to just make an alpha, alpha two. And then I'm going to make, oh, you know what I could do? Uh, no, I, I want to demonstrate this more explicitly. So I'll say alpha two uh, is going to get um, an empty list, right? So I'm, I'm going to have two accumulators here. I'm going to have two list accumulators. So alpha two, and then I'm going to have nums and that's going to be an empty list as well. So I'm going to say um, no, uh, alpha two dot append the letter. And I'm going to say nums dot append the num. And I'm going to go ahead and return alpha two. So that'll be my letters. And I'll return num. So I'm going to just make that a little bit smaller so we can keep it all on the same. Uh, let me know at any point if this is too small. So let's print what we get out of this. So number, alpha, and barring having any errors, let's just see what happens. OK, that's not exactly what I expected. What is happening there? Alpha 2 dot append letter. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. This is a little, uh, this is a little boneheaded, <laughs> but I'm just going to do it. There's no, uh, so I'll just do that and we'll see what happens. Okay, so that is not quite what I expected to happen. I expected nums, nums, not num, nums. Okay, that's better. Okay, so what we're getting out of this is two lists and they're parallel to each other. And let's just verify that they're parallel. So um, uh, what comes out of this, uh, when, when we return two variables, when we return two things from a function, it's actually a tuple. Um, so I'm just going to verify that. I'm going to say, let's just actually not tuple, but let's print the type of number alpha. And it's a tuple, sure enough. And there are two values in it. I'm going to say uh, alf nums. And then I'm going to print alf and I'm going to print nums. So what I'm going to get out of this is an error because I have an extra parentheses. But what I'm going to get out of this is two parallel lists, right? Like if somebody came to you and said, OK, well, I want you to um, create a number, uh, a relation between the letters of the alphabet and their uh, numeric position, not indexed at 0, but indexed at 1. A is 1, uh, B is 2, C is 3, et cetera. And I could do something. I could do something with this. I could say, well, for letter in, actually, for i in range, let's say the range of the length of alpha, I'm going to print um, alpha sub i and nums sub i. And what we should see from this is a much clearer relation if I don't have, it's alpha, not alpha. So if I scroll up here, right, we have an association, a very clear associa association. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4, et cetera. So 
this is interesting. And in a lot of languages, this is how you would solve, uh, accomplish this problem. This is, this is how you would approach this problem, is with parallel lists. Uh, a lot of languages do that. But for us, we're going to, um, for Python, we use something called a dictionary. And dictionaries are pretty amazing. Um, I'm going to modify this code. And uh, pretty quickly, I'll modify it. Um, I'm going to say, OK, well, we've got this alpha list. Uh, we don't need either of these accumulators anymore. We can instead make a dictionary. So I'm going to declare an empty dictionary. That's what that is. And I'm going to say for, um, for number letter in enumerate alpha, it's perfectly fine. I'm going to create a key that is the letter. And I'm going to set a value for that key, which is the number. And I'm going to return the dictionary. So if I do this, um, we can take a look at uh, what this dictionary is. You know, what, what does it look like, right? Um, and it's a little bit hard to see what this looks like here, but um, increase the size of this a little bit. So we've got these curly brackets, and then we've got this this thing here, A. The string A is a key. One is the value associated with it. So notice we've created a single data structure. It's not two separate lists. It's a single data structure that uh, shows the relation between a key and a value. Okay, so we call this a key value pair. And that's something you're going to learn more about. Um, I think a lot of you are already pretty familiar with dictionaries. And uh, so I'm not going to go into it any more than this. So this is parallel lists and dictionaries. You know, simple enough function that generates a relationship between the letters uh, and their positions in the alphabet. So um, the takeaway here is that a dictionary uh, is comprised of key value pairs. And the keys cannot be duplicated, OK? So you can only have, uh, like a key has to be unique. Um, you can think about it like you don't want to have, uh, in an apartment building, you don't want to have multiple apartments that open with the same key. I, I mean, maybe you have a master key or something like that. but. Um, just in some simplified version of the world, you don't want to have uh, people able to open each other's apartments, right? Uh, so we have keys that are unique. Um, values do not have to be unique, and values can be anything. They can literally be any kind of thing in, uh, in Python. So um, it can be a list. It can be um, another dictionary. You can nest dictionaries. In, not infinitely. You'll run out of memory, but you can do it. You can nest them pretty far. So, so this is to sort of build uh, an idea of where we're going. And I'm going to build another part